Oh boy, time now for another episode of Miss Nelson and Sunday Comics. And oh my god, look who's here. Finally. <laughs> ah, Miss Fury. So in our last episode, uh, her car fell apart. And it looks like she's going through her luggage. And oh, don't this old thing. Well, rolled up in this accursed black lip... Uh, I was going to say leotard, but leopard skin. When my uncle left this to me, he said it had been a witch doctor's ceremonial robe and that it was endowed with strange powers, which enabled its wearer to accomplish whatever mission he or she set out upon. What he didn't say was the terrific price the wearer would have to pay. Every time I've worn it, some dire personal misfortune has followed. Well, you haven't been wearing it for quite a while, and all kinds of crap keep happen happening. To and you keep getting hit on, by and you don't really do anything about it. You just let it happen, you know? I mean, the hitting on is not supernatural. It's just, you're hot, but... Um, yeah, anyway, uh, but maybe they were just odd coincidences. Yeah, sure, Marla. Go with that. Anyway, my mission now is to use that powder... Oh, their, yeah, their secret weapon powder, I guess. <laughs> Against the invading army before they harm Era and her followers. Uh, you would think, you'd be, that's really uh, nice of her, you know, despite the fact that Era hates her guts. Uh, you're still going to save her. When you could just ignore her and save the followers, you know, all the men. Anyway, uh, the jackass doesn't seem impressed. So, uh, what? Are you looking at my ass? No. Yes. Tee hee. Anyway, I thought I heard footsteps. Yeah, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> the creep. Come on. No sense taking chances. I'll slip out among those trees and make sure. Oh, it's these guys. These. Oh, these keen eyes have sighted the movement among the trees. Let me show you what. Uh, with what ease we slay the animal. Oh, that's not kind. These eyes have also sighted the same dark animal. And this is a good time to prove that we are as skillful with the bow and arrow as your tribe is with the blowpipe. <laughs> well, you'd think by now they'd know for sure. But anyway, um, I guess that's... Oh, boy, did the arrow, like, graze her ear. And, but that's not her real ear, so why would it bleed? And, unless that's just smearing of the... The ink they used on the, yeah. It, ooh! Yeah. Oh, boy. I, oh, get ready for her Miss Fury powers. Uh, the animal is still moving. Now, my friend, I'll prove to you that the blowpipe is more accurate than the bow. And wait! Do not blow the poison dart. It is a woman. A woman in a black leopard skin. Yes, I was right, and she must be the woman called Era, who sent for us. Then why does she not speak to us? Um, d d does any of you speak English? Well, isn't that what they're speaking now? I... Did he mention Era? Ah, she wishes me to lead the tribes, and does not want the others to hear our talk. Okay, like, like later in comics, they would put those little, uh, not not parentheses, but um, anyway, you know, indicating that they're speaking some other language. But anyway, you get the idea. I mean, if they put a bunch of gobbledygook in there, how would you know, you know? I, uh, anyway, um, how come he's yellow? I don't know. Oh, he's the albino. Okay. Well, he would. Yeah, okay. Me, albino Joe Best Pliny, smart, guide in Brazil. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Best Penny, good warrior with blowgun, too. Can knock a hawk's eye out at 300 feet. Albino Joe, that's me. She says I am to be the leader. Come, follow me. We have the short route to Devil Mountain, where other tribes await us. He thinks I'm Era. Okay, good. He'll lead me to where Era and Chico are waiting for the invading army. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, atop Devil Mountain, what could possibly go wrong? Overlooking a long, narrow canyon. 
Era has recruited Indians. Did you see them, Chico? Yes, a good idea, too, since we have no guns or ammunition to fight the nasties. Humph! Like other fools before us, we thought it couldn't happen here. Well, anyway, the other side of the canyon. Both ends of the canyon are ready to be blasted when you give the signal, Era. What the? Well, I'll be a son of a well. This is an army. What I mean. Hey, Era, here they come. You must be mistaken, Fingers. I don't see anything. Are you blind? Here, take a gape through this and you'll see something. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a tank, a cannon, and some other trucks. All right. It, it's definitely something. Here they come, Era. Well, look at all the tanks and guns. Well, so far I've only seen one tank, but, you know, I'll take your word for it. I'll stand back. I mean, <laughs> I'll stand back ready to give the signal. Let me know when they near the end of the canyon. Brazil and Gorillas, they are non-existent. They are just small, isolated tribes of Indians. Uh, mestizos? And bandits. Here in the interior. And most of them know, don't even know there is a world war going on. But what should we come across them what we do? <laughs> Kill them, of course. Do you think we'd slow down to take prisoners of our lots of scum coated subnormal savages? Now, you can see why bombing planes are unnecessary. Here in the interior, there are only scattered tribes of Indians and mestizos. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but who cares? Anyway, as we cannot be burdened, we are prisoners. The men have orders to fire the village and shoot down the hill. What? I mean, the women, too? Yes! <laughs> the women, too. The soldiers on the Bruno's command have but one thought to win this war. We must also adhere to our time schedule. Anyway, now, and their flag. So anyway, at air signal, a mighty explosion shatters one of the uh, end of the canyon. The mountains still resound with the echoes of the first roar when... Wow, that's pretty impressive when they said they didn't have any weapons. Um, but anyway... Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. Shiza! A second violent blast sends an avalanche of rock thundering into the narrow pass, trapping the greater part of Bruno's army. Gorillas! They have dynamited both ends of the canyon! Send a detachment to clean out the stupid slide. Who think they can halt an army with rocks? Well, that wasn't just rocks. I mean, they that was explosive. In the rocks trapping you in the canyon. I mean, you're you're kind of stuck. <laughs> anyway, then set the engineers to work clearing the fires. Well, we'll see how that works out. So, um, uh, hurry up and say when, Era. I got a bead on the classy-looking one-armed guy with all the medals. Hold your fire. They think we are but few. Wait until they leave the protection of their tanks and trucks. On the opposite cliff... Am I Iron Monster? Oh, aim at Iron Monsters? But poison dart, no harm metal. I'll blow dart at men. No, Albano Joe. I want you to aim this dart at the tank. Set the editors to work, clearing the fast well the detachment vessels, those half breed gorillas. Doop -do 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 -do, doop -do 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 -do. Well, they got the high ground, so you know what that means. I got a beat on the classy looking one armed guy. <laughs> That's what he said. I think he's the general. Wait until they leave that. Oh my God. Again, this must have been meant for a comic strip thing, you know? So, like, uh, oh, the next week you'd see it would start with this to, you know, to recap. But anyway, wait until they leave their tanks and trucks to clear the rocks we dynamited. They'll be better targets. Yeah, but don't wait too long, Era. There's a mob of nasties climbing up the rocks on with potato mashes. 
That's okay. We are not potatoes. Unknown to Hera on the opposite cliff, Miss Fury. But poison darts no harm metal. Oh, man. <laughs> well, nice figurative hose of Fury there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet. These aren't poison darts. They're capsules containing a radium-like powder that disintegrates metal. I don't think you understand me, Albino Joe, but if you aim this at the tank, you'll see. Sorry, I was staring at breasts. Say again. So anyway, ding. Oh, well, so much for that. Who in hell told those Indians to fire? The fools are not only giving away our position, but they are blowing poison darts at the tanks. Hey, Era, look down here. Am I going nuts or is that tank disappearing? Well, what do you know? Is his toupee coming off? Anyway, um, uh-oh. Do, 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 do. Circulating like fine does, whichever the glistening uh, acrothorium touches, not a particle of metal remains. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess. Well, oh, is that like the rim around his helmet so his helmet melted off? I don't know. Anyway. Wheel that's gone around. The metal middle capsules are being thrown from only one spot on Dutch Cliff. Move quickly, you clumsy idiots! Blast that cliff! Fire, fools! Fire! Oh, what's that? Too late! Don't stand idle! Get... What's this? The troops who were cut off when the gorillas dynamited the pass. They're pouring into the valley. Get back to the hills! <laughs> Ooh. Unable to hear Bruno, the troopers continued to advance, amazed at seeing no enemy, and still further amazed when... I'm... There did my helmet go! Yeah. Among the astounded watchers are Chico and his gachos, who gape, pop-eyed, as Bruno's mechanized army crumbles. Is it a new secret weapon, Chico, or a camouflage chick? Can't tell yet. But it looks like ye they'll soon be totally unarmed. <sighs> and that's all we want to know. <laughs> Chico and his gotchas come thundering down into the valley through those yeah, those stirrups and bridles disappear. Oh, yeah. Well, hang on to the main. Uh, these superb horsemen continue, whirling the heavy leather-covered stone bulladoras. I thought it was, well, anyway. Continued on page 30. Well, maybe. But we'll have to come back next week for Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics. But, hey, look, it's Miss Fury in her underwear again. How about that? So, here you go. You can make your paper dolls of Miss Fury or Marla Drake in this play, uh, case. And oh, look at all the outfits you get to waste your time with. But, um, well, that's what she does when she's not running around in her cat suit. She uh, plays dress up. Yeah. Anyway, tune in next time for another exciting episode of Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comic.